Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my unstuffing slash stuffing um, cash envelope video, which is super exciting. Um, my dryer is going in the background. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that. And my son is sitting beside me coloring. So if he pops into the video, um, sorry about that. Um, anyways, let's get into this. So I'm going to unstuff my cash envelopes that I've had um, for the last week. And uh, we'll do that first and set the money aside because I have plans for that. So in this envelope, I have some a $10 and some change. All right, sorry, my son got into the video. <laughs> I just distracted him again. But um, I only had $10 and some change in here instead of the 20 because um, I was over in some categories. So I had to take um, some cash from another envelope, which I took from gas. So now that is empty and I'm going to I'll probably zero this out. I'm not going to put anything for a description. I'm just going to zero it out so I know. I don't have anything in my household cash envelope anymore because you see I overspent, so that is done. I also overspent in my baby category, so that also doesn't have money in it. My groceries, I had a quarter in here. I have six dollars and thirty cents, so I'll add that to the pile. Eating out, I have ten dollars left. Date night, I have $50 left, but I am going to use this for my husband's um, birthday, so I'm gonna set this aside. I was, <laughs> you can tell you budget and go through your debt numbers when you have writing all over your hand, it's just great. Um, anyways, so that one's cleared. I'm going to save this in my wallet for his birthday. And the other category, I had nothing in here, so. These are all empty. I have 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28, 65. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this change aside. I'm gonna put it into a change jar or something. And then I'm going to put this um, in a cash envelope, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, so what I'm going to do with a little bit of this money is I'm going to put it in my debt snowball for the grandparents. I hope this part doesn't get confusing, um, but just stick with me here. So I need this envelope to be at $350. So if you take 350, subtract 120 and 113, you are left with 117. So I had 166 left over from this pay period and I need $117. So that is doable because I had 166. So I'm gonna write February week two deposit. <laughs> My son is definitely talking to you guys. Um, 117 and that is where these 50s come from. So 51, 10, 15, 16, 17. So I'm going to put that in here. Maybe we should count just so you guys can see. I don't keep this money in the bank because I get super confused if there's lots of money in my savings. Even though I keep track of it, I just like there's too much stuff to keep track of. Um, so I don't like to keep it in the bank if that makes sense. All right, so 51, 52, 53, 
20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So there is $350 in this cash envelope for this debt snowball to my husband's grandparents, which is so exciting. I got the ball rolling. Um, I know it's not a lot, but it's just, it's awesome to me and my husband. So that is so rewarding for us. Um, I will show you where this other $11 is going in a minute. Um, but let's start stuffing our cash envelopes. So we don't need date night for eating out. I have to zero this out again because I'm going to put cash in here. Um, this February, I'm going to write February um, number two budget. I should have just wrote deposit, but at least I know what paycheck this is coming out of since I will use this for quite a, a long time. So with this paycheck, um, it was from my paycheck, so it is a smaller amount. It's only getting $10. So that is where this 10 com comes from. Since I had leftover cash from my cash envelopes, I wasn't gonna take out more cash and then put this cash back in the, the bank. So this is where I'm making this my um, cash envelope money. Um, this is super confusing, but <laughs> I have it all worked out in my head, so. Um, I hope it makes sense. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys. I took $250 out. So um, 50 of it is from my for my son because um, his great-grandparents sent him $50 for uh, Valentine's Day, which was super nice. Um, you got 20, 40, 60, 80 plus um, 10 and 5. This is supposed to be 100, but I used 5 of it last night for my son's milk. So that is the $100 for, for groceries. This is 10 for eating out. And then this extra, this extra loony is just gonna go in my wallet and it's just gonna sit there for, you know, whatever I need to use it for. Um, this money over here, I bought some tea at the grocery store um, on Sunday. The tea expired and I'm pregnant so I don't want to drink tea that's expired so I returned it and it was $9.50 which is ridiculous so I got this money back I am think I'm just going to put it in this um, change jar maybe a, that's where I'll put this loony too so I'll put all this in the change jar um, so I hope that clears up all this money. Um, again, I didn't take extra money out because I had that extra $28 and that's where you saw um, the 117 go. I kept the other, um, so if you take 166 away from 117, which is how much I had left over for this week, it is $49. I kept that $49 in my account to make an extra payment on my credit card because now that this is fully funded at $350 for the month of February, I am moving on to make $325 um, worth of payments onto my credit card. So that $49 went to my credit card. That's why you don't see the $49 here. And that is why I have, I pulled out $250 for my cash envelopes. So now that we got that all cleared up, I'm going to stuff this envelope for eating out. And that is only $10. So I'm going to go put that in my wallet again. Um, groceries. Here we go. I'm going to zero this out so I know that this change isn't in there. And I'm going to write February number two budget because it is our bi-weekly budget but it's also my oh I should write three here because it's week three that this is I budget each week because I stuff my cash envelopes each week because my husband and I get alternating paychecks so yeah sorry about that um so put a hundred in here and then I'm gonna write milk that was 214 and then subtract five dollars so now that's where the 95 comes in 
gonna put this in here, put that over there. I'm gonna write Valentine's, $50. I know that it's not in our budget, but I wanna know where the money is coming from, so I'm gonna put that $50 in here. And if I see a nice outfit or a really good toy, um, then I'll buy that for him because he has this extra spending money, or I might just go put it in his bank account so it is there for his um, school fund. So since I do not have and other category and a gas category, I already put zero there. I'm gonna put zero on household. So I know that it is zeroed out. And then I'm also going to do that for date night. All right, so we got, all right, so we got 50, 95, 10. We have our stuffed envelope here with 117 the rest of the 166 which was 49 dollars is in my bank because i put it into my visa <clears throat> this is extra cash that i got from returning that tea and then some change that i had left over from that 28 whatever i saved from the cash envelopes when i de-stuffed them so all of this is going into my change jar and then we got the $50 for my husband's birthday dinner. So that is so exciting. I hope this video wasn't too confusing and rushed. Um, I am kind of crunched for time here in the morning, but I wanted to get good lighting for you guys. Um, if this made sense, let me know. <laughs> if it didn't make sense, let me know where I could have explained it better and I'll explain it to you in the comments below. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.